What's up you guys, this is Tim Trevathan with Tim Trevathan Homes and Keller Williams Realty. This video you don't wanna miss. Did you see my other videos? Have you seen what's been going on in the Georgia real estate market? The shift in the market is real. Make sure to look at that video. Have you seen the one on buyers having all the power in the market now? And seller FOMO has set in buyers are wanting to buy while sellers are wishing they had sold earlier to get more out of their house value. Well, now we have to cover another topic and that is new construction. Is new construction still the same as it was a few months ago? Well, I also did a video on that about five most important things to know about new construction in Georgia. And I mentioned at the end of that video that it may be 60 days or 90 days, six months or 12 months from now where those five most important things could change over time. Well, guess what guys? It's only been two months and indeed things have changed. So this video is the update about new construction buying in Georgia. First off, some of you may have known there were bidding processes going on. To the extreme, that's what we had to deal with with new construction. That we started to see that homes were going to be bid up as if it was a resale home. So the price that it started out, which was already a premium because new construction is already being sold at a premium, were going up in price on top of that from there. Now we don't have to worry about bidding processes. And why? Just like with resale, the overall market nationally and in Georgia here, it's because of the interest rates and the hot market that we've been in for so long that finally things are starting to cool down. So what does that mean for new construction? Incentives. Incentives. Yes, that's right. Buyer incentives that we're used to seeing back in 2018, 2019, and even a little bit of the 2020 era, where basically if you buy a new construction house, if you go with a preferred lender of that builder, you can get a hefty incentive. I'm talking about 15,000 in closing costs. As you can see here with Ellington New Construction in Swanee, they are offering an incentive. And it's a pretty big one. If you go with a single family home, then they give you a $10,000 incentive for the design center. So what does that mean? Once you go under contract and you are now set to see your home being built right before your eyes over the next six, eight months, well, the first few weeks of being under contract, you're gonna go back to the sales office and choose your designs. What kind of tier one, two, or three levels and quality of the materials, whether it's the cabinetry in the kitchen or the bathrooms, the type of countertops, or the type of tile for your flooring, and the hardwood color and type. Those are just to name a couple of examples. Well, now these builders are giving you incentives of 10,000 to go towards those design options. And again, if you look here, you can see that they also give a $15,000 closing cost incentive. Now this is just with townhomes, but still it's a very nice incentive. Usually you're looking at roughly 3% of the purchase price for your closing cost amount. So 15,000 almost covers most of your closing costs if you were to buy a townhome. Now, another thing that I've noticed is that with the home prices, you would think that they would come down just like with resale, but this is the one differentiating factor. The base price of new construction homes, primarily here in Metro Atlanta, whether it's Toll Brothers or Providence Group or any of the other ones, Schaefer Communities, DR Horton, that they're still keeping their base rates the same but they're adding incentives on top of that. So again, closing cost incentive, design center option allowance, and also you can see the lot premium going down. On some of the lot premiums on these builders homes, such as Milton Overlook over and coming made by Toll Brothers, they had as high as $245,000 lot premium. Now they've gone down considerably and the highest price you can find is about 150 to 160,000. Still a lot, but a lot better than it was just a few months ago. And what does that mean? Well, basically a lot premium is determined based on the size of the lot, the direction that the lot is facing and the location of that lot in general, whether it's a corner lot or a side lot or just one that's shared with neighbors on the left and right of you all those determine the pricing of the lot premium that's added on to the base rate. 
Another thing that you would think has changed but hasn't is the earnest money amount. For the most part, builders are still maintaining their same earnest money amount. For example, with Toll Brothers Milton Overlook, it's a 10% earnest money deposit based on the base price plus that lot premium that I was talking about. So it could be well over 100,000 for your earnest money amount. And again, with new construction, you don't have that liberty and privilege like you do with a resale contract to back out if the appraisal comes back lower. There is no appraisal contingency. So you still have to have that mindset that when you buy new construction, you're going in, you sign on the die line and you're set until that home's built, you're obligated to purchase it. You can't back out unless if you wanna lose all of that earnest money. But again, to recap, earnest money is still roughly the same. The base price of homes are still the same, but the things that have changed are the lot premium discounts, as well as the incentives with closing costs and design center allowance. So you're definitely seeing some differences. And the best part, no bidding processes. It's first come first serve, which means you can really start seeing a option to choose from, whether it's this lot over here that you like or the lot over here that's going to be built you now have options yes you still have to act fast and before there were as many as one or two which isn't many lots that would be available to be released each month now some of these builders are releasing as many as 10 to 12 maybe even 15 lots in a month which is a lot more than it was before now having said that i want to look at this chart here nationally new construction as a whole, the housing starts have come down. You can see here that back in April, 2020, we all know the infamous COVID era, and that's when new construction pretty much was at a standstill. Builders were not building homes because they didn't know what was going on. Quickly with all the incentives with the Fed lowering the rate, it boosted the economy and stimulated it to the point where housing starts started to boom. But if you look right here, from April 2022 all the way till now in August, we're seeing a little bit of a dip. Now, that might not look like a big dip, but you have to go back to April 2020 and see how that was a sharp dip. And at the rate we're going, we could be going down as low as where we were in COVID. And what is the main reason for this? It's because of the interest rates. Now, contrary to popular belief, people think that higher interest rates means lower prices not necessarily it just means less homes will be built and less homes will be sold that's the key factor what is being sold is still in very much high demand because the inventory is so low and if we look here one thing though that i would say is a bit of a positive while the housing starts have been down we can see that the month supply of new homes is starting to come up and it's going at an alarming rate almost, where we're seeing almost at the level of what we saw back in the 2008 Great Recession, meaning that if there were no new homes to be built and it took however much time for all the homes on the market currently to be sold, it would take nine months nationally. So with this data, we see in one sense that there's still lack of inventory and we need new construction. Why? Because a lot of homeowners, current homeowners, they want to buy new construction so they can upsize and upgrade while putting their home on the market. They are not incentivized to sell when they don't have any options to buy. Now with first time home buyers, it's a different story. You just have to choose with whatever is out there. But with people who are already homeowners, typically a lot of times I see them, they upgrade to a new construction home. But because of the housing starts being less, that's less opportunity for them to buy and move. But again, the positive I would say is that in that last graph, as you can see, the month supply of inventory is starting to go up. Meaning, yes, right now, new construction base prices are staying the same. You never know, there could always be a first for everything, meaning that even new construction builders could be lowering the price of their homes in the near future. We haven't seen it yet, we may never see it, but who knows, we'll see as far as if them wanting to profit based on what's available and not being sold, if they think that it needs to be pushed and advertised to sell quicker, they may start to lower their price. But again, guys, we're in a better market now for buyers, as you could have seen in that last video. If you hadn't 
make sure to check it out. And now with new construction, there are also some opportunities being opened. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. And guys, if you need help, call, text, email me, however you want to get a hold of me. I work in the Atlanta market area. I like to help people, buyers and sellers, relocate to Georgia as I've helped many from other states and cities move here, call Georgia their home, whether it's with new construction or resale, I do it all. Love to help you. I want to talk to you. I really want to help you. So don't feel afraid to call me. See you on the next video.